question from Brandon McKee. Why shouldn't boxers bench press? So it's not a totally banned exercise of boxing science, but it's something that we manipulate to work around the limitations of the boxer's upper limb. Boxing is a very repetitive sport, very anterior dominant, and they throw thousands of punches every single session. You know, we worked out the other day that a boxer had punched over 5,000 punches in just one session. They become very anterior dominant. This affects the amount of range that they can produce in a bench press position without this internal rotation of the humeral head and putting a lot of pressure on the shoulder joint here. Also, lack of wrist stability and strength and also elbow stability and strength can end up increasing the forces going through elbow and the wrist and you can end up getting injured this way. We like to do bench press in a racked position, starting from a dead start and predominantly working on that concentric action, but working to that partial range where you're not getting this compromised position of the shoulder. We also like to do dumbbells because there's a lot of imbalances between boxers left and right side. The lead hand is used a lot more than the back hand. We've worked this out to be a three to one ratio or maybe even a four or five to one ratio if you count combinations, using the lead hand as a jab or even as a range finder for feints as well. This lead hand is getting used a lot more so it ends up being a bit tighter and sometimes a little bit stronger as well. It might get a little bit imbalanced when working on barbell exercises and you start to compensate using different muscles in your back to try and get the, the weight up and to keep the bar balanced. So we use dumbbells to work on unilateral differences and we do a floor press, we'll do dumbbell chest press, dumbbell chest press with bands, a dumbbell chest press from a hip thrust position and a range of different exercises because using the dumbbells to make sure that it's shoulder friendly. Well, we'll do bench press, I'll probably do it on lighter loads, maybe with accommodating resistance, so doing a banded press or doing a bench press throw where we are working towards them full ranges and not getting into a really compromised position at that end point because it's doing it a lot lighter and the more emphasis is on the concentric action and the throw. So they're the reasons why we wouldn't use a bench press so much in boxing and also here's some alternatives on how we'd still strengthen that horizontal pressing action.